Hello there my fellow fans, today's headline. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, didn't try to put herself in the spotlight as she welcomed South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to the UK on Tuesday. According to a commentator, body language expert Darren Stanton noted Prince William's wife didn't wear an overpowering colour upon meeting the politician and attending alongside the Prince of Wales, the King and Queen Consort. The ceremonial welcome in his honour. The expert said, We also see Kate adopting a more plum or maroon colour dress, which is still proportionate to her position as future Queen and senior member of the royal family. However, it is not an overpowering colour like a vibrant red or blue, and she is not attempting to put herself in the spotlight. The Princess of Wales, the expert said, operated so in tune with her husband when they met President Ramaphosa at the Corinthia Hotel in London, they almost brought to mind professional dancers. He said, Included in official photos of the Prince and Princess greeting the President of South Africa, there is a great shot of William and Kate standing with him in the middle. What is most striking about this photograph is looking at how both William and Kate are standing in relation to the President. It is a great shot where everyone is smiling with a genuine smile. However, the Prince and Princess of Wales both put their hands forward. They are matching and mirroring each other, unconsciously, which demonstrates they are both on the same page, both thinking the same thing and operating almost like professional dancers, as they are so synchronised. Mr Stanton added Catherine and William adopted a submissive gesture, which can also be read as a sign of respect when they place their hands in front of them to pose for an official picture with the politician. Following the ceremonial welcome, Prince William and Princess Catherine were among the royals to join King Charles and Queen Camilla at Buckingham Palace as President Ramaphosa was shown an exhibition of royal collection items related to South Africa, exposed in the picture gallery. On Tuesday evening, the Waleses returned to Buckingham Palace for the first ever state banquet hosted by Charles since his ascension to the throne. While supporting the King and Queen in entertaining the dozens of guests at the palace, Catherine donned the Lover's Knot Tiara, a diamond and pearl encrusted headpiece made in 1914 and given as a wedding gift by the late Queen to Princess Diana, as well as a Cape Jenny Packham floor length gown. Thank you guys for watching today's news. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.